What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass, like and subscribe. So, seems that <laughs> Sony has cut production for the PSVR 2 by 20%. Now, remember when all these uh, reports came out, oh, Sony's, uh, they're, they're, they're cutting production or whatever, but it was like, oh no, they're only cutting distribution by whatever from uh, 1 million to from 2 million, 2 million to 1 million or 1.5 or something like that, whatever. And then, well, people, well, the reports were initially they cut in production, but then Sony quick came through quick to say, no, 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 it's just distribution. We're still making the same amount. Liars. They straight up li lies, lies. Sony, the lying company, because that's all they're doing right now. They're trying to save face. They're trying to be powerful, but they get caught up in their lies. You notice that since this report came out, which was today, Sony ain't say nothing. Remember the first time they came? Oh no, no, that's not true. Blah blah blah. And then all the ponies came out to to defend them. Like, oh yeah, that's right. They made. They said that that report was false. It's like that's not. No, they didn't say the report was false. They just said something else that wasn't what the report said. Where, where the ponies at? Huh? Where the ponies at to defend this? What are they gonna say? What are they gonna say? Huh? Huh? Oh, it's just a rumor. It's, it's not from Sony's mouth themselves. Well, Sony's not saying anything. So, must be true, right? I, I'm just saying, you know. Sony's out here making the wrong moves. Constantly. And you wonder, you know. I, look, the PSVR 2 is dead. It's dead in the water. The only thing that can save it is if they drop the price drastically and lose money on each headset. It's the only way that they can save it, if you will. They want it to be a success, if you will. And the success to Sony is to make money. Not to have a ubiquitous product that everyone has, although that would equate to success in a different way. It takes longer, but right now, Sony has a choice to make. They either go all in on the headset and lose money on each headset, or they kill it. I'm gonna say they kill it because that's their, that's what they've done historically. You know, when something isn't working out and they're losing too much money, gone. They're not making headsets, they're not, they're not making handhelds anymore. Why not? They had a choice, handheld or a headset. They chose a headset. That was the wrong choice. They should have chose handheld. What these, what these consoles should do is make PC VR headsets compatible with their console, with their hardware. That's what they should do. Let Asus, let freaking Valve, let, let all these other people, companies make these headsets and then just say, hey, plug it in and let's go. And they, then you don't have to worry about the cost of producing a headset or failing at producing a headset Sony. So, you know, it's, I don't, it's, it's like, this generation really is different because it's like, yeah, Sony's number one, Sony's this, Sony's that, right? And then, you know, one thing comes out, boom, oh. You know, crying Jim Ryan's over here making a fool out of himself. And then boom, PSVR 2 headset sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck technically, but as far as what it's gonna do with the market, no, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it, nobody wants VR. VR is like, no. Just like back when in the 90s, when it first came out, st still the same thing. Because fundamentally, it is still difficult to hook up, it's wired. There's so many different reasons why people don't want it, besides the price. And these companies haven't figured it out yet. They, they haven't figured it out yet. Some have, some are going to figure it out and it's coming. And those are the headsets, the ones that, like I said, look like glasses before. The ones that are like, like say if this was a VR headset, wireless, I mean, it'd probably be a little bit bulkier, but who knows what miniaturization would, would do in the, in the future. If that was VR, you put it on, beep boop, done, right? Come on, son. 
If it's as easy as putting on a pair of glasses, that's all you need. Oh, you just gotta remember to charge your glasses. That's it, just like a phone. That's the solution. Not this big thing that's connected to the thing. That, nah, nobody wants that. And plus your price is too high. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the fact that Sony lies. They lie constantly. They lie because they can get away with it. They lie because they blind, dumb, and they're not mute because they talk a lot on, on Twitter. But the dumb and blind fanboys, the dumb and blind ponies with their, you know, the blinders on, donkey unicorns, they will regurgitate any garbage that Sony says. Now, if Sony comes out with a, with a statement, which I doubt they will because it's literally months ago they were talking about, no, 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 that's not true. They're gonna look extra foolish again. This is the foolish generation for Sony. They had it in the bag. All they had to do was come correct. All they had to do was make a product that was better than the Xbox. And they didn't do that. And that's gonna soon come to fruition. We're still, we're, we will soon see why PlayStation is so scared and why Jim Ryan is so scared. And I appreciate all the comments talking about that stuff because, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's apparent. You know, it's like, wait, why are these, why are all these things? And I was just watching some, the Resident Evil 4 remake just came out with a patch to fix the resolution stuff on the PlayStation 5, right? And now the Xbox has worse image, worse visuals, worse graph. I'm like, how does that work? You put out a patch to fix the PlayStation and the same patch breaks the Xbox even more. They fix, they kind of fix the controls, the dead zone. But now they're what, they're equal now? That's BS. See what I'm saying? It's, the, it's hypocrisy and they're paying Capcom to make the Xbox version less than. If they would have kept the resolution the same as it was in the original release and just fixed the dead zone issue, it would still be better than the PlayStation version. But no, they didn't do that. They borked the Xbox version in order to appease Sony. That's what, that's what this whole freaking industry seems to be centered around is appeasing Sony. Oh, we can't get Sony mad. We have to make them happy. We, I'm like, y'all, I'm... Y'all are back in the wrong horse. I mean, I understand how business works and people with the money get things done, but there's only so long, there's only, there's only a limited amount of time that an evil dictator can rule. Right now, Sonny's the evil dictator, that's the analogy. Um, they seem like it, right? They're, they're doing all the things to try to get over, you know? I mean, you know what just flashed into my mind? Donald Trump. <laughs> he got arraigned. Didn't he get arraigned? I don't know. They should have had him have a perp, perp walk, but anyway, that doesn't matter. You know, if you get arrested, you know, if it was me, I would be like, oops. You know, they didn't do that. That's not fair. Why? Because he got money. See? See how that works? That's how it works. But, you know, Sony seems a little evil, this gen. And it's not, it's not Sony. PlayStation. It's Jim Ryan. It's, it's the leadership. The leadership dictates how PlayStation is perceived because of their actions, because of their words, because of their statements that are counter to what they're actually doing. Oh, we love the players. Oh, oh, we I'm doing this because it's bugs. Oh, the players. <laughs> oh, we love them. It's about the, the experience, the second to none experience. And then he's, and then you see what's happening. It's like, okay, he's crying. See, he's doubling down on the crying. He's crying, he's, he's crying so hard that his tears have tears. His tears have little Jim Ryan faces and they're crying. And if you zoom in small enough into the tears of the tears, they have tears too. It's an infinite, it's, a, it's a fractal image of tears from Jim Ryan's face. You zoom in, you keep his, keep his infinite. That's what I was about to describe infinity, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, man, just, I, I, yo, the fall of Sony. Somebody's gonna write a book about this. Somebody's gonna be like, yo, what happened? 
We're, just, we're seeing it live. We're seeing it happen right now in real time. And it's glorious because, you know, people with uh, people or entities or companies with uh, sticks up the booty holes, you know, eventually somebody's going to rip it out and then they're going to see. They're going to feel it. That's a bad, that's a bad image. Anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out. Let me know in the comments. Is Sony full of shite? Are you, are you tired of the lies of Sony? And then the whole Capcom with the Resident Evil with the switching resolution on the Xbox to make it look worse? What's going on? I mean, we know what's going on, but can, can the FTC see this now? I mean, the CMA has already seen it. It's just all these things that are happening, just more proof to let that, that, that deal go through. I mean, it's, it's already a foregone conclusion. It's going to happen, but, you know, it's, it's just it's crazy. But once again, I appreciate y'all. And what to be da and see y'all in the next one. Took the weight.